let's eat. Come with me, Ronnie B. Some food to eat, Ronnie B. Hey, welcome to Ronnie B's, y'all. Okay, you guys, today we are making a Ronnie B's Italian-style meatloaf. And what I did, I have about four pounds of ground beef in here, and I took the casings off about seven Italian sausages. So, I am going to get this started. I'm going to incorporate these sausages inside of this ground beef. Okay. I just wanted to break it up some because I am going to get in there with my hands because that's what I do. So, let's start with... What I want to start with? I'll start with seasonings. So, I'm going to use some basil. We're doing it Italian style, y'all. I want to taste it. I want to... When I eat it, I want to be like, oh, yeah, this tastes Italian style. Here is some oregano, y'all. And I'm not being shy with it because I have a whole bunch of meat in here because I'm making a big meatloaf. I know this is not Italian, but it gives it a kick. So, of course, I'm going to use some of my Cajun. Okay, some garlic powder. Onion. Onion powder. Italian seasoning. I'm going to hit it good with this Italian, y'all. I want to taste it. Okay, look at that. I'm going to just hit it with a little bit of garlic salt, y'all. Just a little bit. I'm going to throw a little complete in there. It seemed like a lot, but this is what I'm doing. And I'm only putting a little bit of, bam, some garlic herb. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. I am gonna hit it with some black pepper, y'all. And again, this is Ronnie B's Italian style meatloaf. Gotta hit it. Gotta have the rest of sauce when you do your meatloaf. Please. Gotta have it. I wouldn't even make a meatloaf if I didn't have rest of sauce. I would not. I'm going to hit it heavy with this. I'm trying to. No more. Okay, so now we're going to get to these here solids, y'all. Put some um, croutons in my chopper. These are Italian herb croutons that we're going to put in there. Bam. Of course, we're going to put onions, y'all. Some onions in here. Bell pepper. Oh man, this is gonna be so good, you guys. I already know, because I make these all the time. And they don't last in my household. Okay, now we're gonna put two large eggs. And then I'm going to use some evaporated milk. Yes, honey. Okay. If y'all want to use gloves, you're more than welcome, but they get in my way. And I don't like playing when I'm cooking, so they have to go. Ooh, I can smell it, y'all. Uh, this Italian seasoning uh, sausage, look at that. Breaking that up in there. My fingers work better when they're alone. They don't need no company when I'm making this meatloaf. So sorry, gloves. I got to get in here. Make sure you don't see nothing that don't look like it got a piece of season on it. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of shake this while it's in this bowl. So it'll be easier for me to shape when I transfer it to the pan. I'm not all the way shaping it. I'm just trying to help myself out. So when I do this, it's already halfway there, y'all. Let's shake this meatloaf and get her 
in the oven. How about there it that? is. There it is. That's what my grandma said. And what I'm going to do at this time, you guys, I am going to wrap her up. I have the oven set to 350. I'm going to wrap her. I'm going to put her in, hey, you guys, I'm going to put her in the oven for about an hour. Because she big. I'm going to put her in the oven for about an hour on 350. And then when I go back, I made a red sauce that I put on her. I'm going to um, put the red sauce on her. I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to let it cook in in the oven for another 10, 15 minutes. Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to put this in the oven and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, look what we got. Okay, I left it in the oven for an hour. And what I'm going to do now, what I did, I took it out the oven and I poured out that excess grease because I'm going to put my sauce on there. This is some red sauce that I made. I used ketchup, a little bit of a uh, dab of barbecue sauce, some Richter sauce, some tomato paste, a little Dijon mustard, garlic, a little bit of sugar, um, garlic salt, uh, excuse me, not salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of complete. Okay? So that's what's in my red sauce. Now let's get it on this. Yep. Yes, let's paint her. Let's paint her. I feel like Picasso. Picasso in the kitchen. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, Ronnie B's Italian meatloaf. Yes, it's, and this sauce smells delicious, y'all. It's going to be good on y'all. And what I'm going to do after I um, paint this meatloaf, I'm going to throw her back in the oven. But this time, I'm going to turn the oven up, y'all. Because she's already done. She is already done. So what we're going to do, I'm going to throw it in there. I'm going to turn that sucker up to about four. 25. I'm going to leave it in for 10 minutes and we'll check it again. All right, y'all. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me tonight as I made Ronnie B's Italian meatloaf. I appreciate you tremendously. I thank you for joining me and have a great night. Let's eat, let's eat. Cooking with Ronnie B, y'all. Cooking with Ronnie B, y'all. Cooking with Ronnie B, y'all. Let's eat, let's eat.